Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, this is the fifth session in the playlist and we will learn the most important part of uh, uh, any data analytics or machine learning related stuff which is nothing but data visualization. Why do we need to visualize data? Why someone visualize? Data or results without understanding will not give any value. As long as the data just remains in an understandable format, that's useful. If they are not in an understandable format, it becomes totally useless and all the processing that you did on the data even is useless. After processing, the data has to be presented in a very smooth, nice format that anybody can understand and that's where inferencing will come in into picture. I need to infer something out of the data, present it as bar chart. Picture speaks volumes than words. That's absolutely true and we need a clear representation with bar charts and other stuff. And in this session, we will learn about how to plot the data as charts. We are going to take up all the fundamental stuff and this session is going to be very interesting. As usual, I request you to uh, definitely uh, take your PC in front of you and then try it out. Uh, that would be really helpful. The prerequisites are very simple. We are going to use matplotlib. We are going to use matplotlib. It's going to be a package which is very helpful for us to understand and to create a static, animated and interactive visualizations in Python. And we take it out through Anacondas and it has already got a support for it. We have already installed it if you have followed the playlist. If not, please follow the procedure to install it. Matplotlib is going to play a major role and if you need more documentation about it, please go to matplotlib.org to understand more about it. We are also going to use Cborn. Cborn is a visualization library again and cborn.pydata.org will help you in understanding that as well. And this is also useful for presenting you graphical analysis, graphical creation of your data and to analyze it better. So it's a statistical visualization tool. That's it is what we need to understand. I'm going to use Cborn. I'm going to use matplotlib both in this entire session and we'll start learning it step by step. Let's go step by step now. We need to first import it as usual. Uh, without importing, nothing works as you know in Python. So I'm going to import this package. How do we do it? Very simple. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plot. Henceforth, in my entire session, in my throughout my session, we will call matplotlib.pyplot as plot. C bond has been imported as C. So the alternate names have been given for both matplotlib and C bond package. They are plot and C respectively. And percentage matplotlib inline. What is it? Very simple. It is uh, getting all the pictures and uh, graphical representations in line the same page through this line. That's it. Let's keep it that way. C bond is now C. Matplotlib now plot. Matplotlib is now called as plot for us in the entire session. I have just enhanced my data set a little bit. You can see that I have added something called as index though it doesn't make great sense. It's useful for us right now. I have added one more column called as index. That's it. Now. What we are going to do is very important and easy to understand as well. So the first one is bar chart. How do we draw bar chart with it or what is a bar chart for that? It is a chart or a graph that represents categorical data with rectangular bars with heights or lengths proportional to the values they represent. If I have one, it will be a rectangular chart, smaller height. If I have five, the rectangular chart will be of a bigger height. If I have 100, it will be of much bigger height. This is used for representation of the data and bars can be plotted horizontally or vertically also. Now we are going to take a simple example here and step by step procedure for us to plot this bar chart. Now I have got data here animal kg underscore val animal underscore id water underscore uh, requirement index all these are available. Now we are going to plot bar chart with this available data. Import matplotlib pyplot as plot. I have imported it. Import cborn matplotlib inline is all done. This is traditional now in all the codes that I'm going to use in this entire session. So I'm not going to explain these three lines and rest of the codes. Now I have imported pandas as well. Now animal underscore data frame underscore tf equal to pd dot read csv the path of the csv file. Now remember I need data frame for this as well and pandas is helping me out in creating it. Now what do we do? We need to create bar plot. How do we do that? C. C is nothing but C bond. I am using C. That is nothing but C bond dot 
bar plot is the method that I'm using. The x-axis should be with kg val, which is nothing but the 1200, 230, this data should come. Y-axis should be nothing but the water required and data is nothing but the name of the data frame. The name of the data frame is animal underscore data frame underscore df. Here it is given. That's it. Once you run it, you will get this output where water required is plotted against kg underscore well in a neat way. Again, as usual, seeing it as a demo would be very helpful. And before that, we'll go with another factor called as hue. Now we have got three or four different parameters. So we can draw a bar chart for the third value being included in the picture. What is that third value? I can take one more value. In the previous, you can see that here. Here I have taken only kg val and water required. Now I need third one also to be included in the bar chart. So how do we do that? Very simple. I need to add one simple point here, which is nothing but Q. C dot bar plot. X can remain as kg value. Y can remain as water required. And Q can go with animal underscore ID. Now data is equal to animal underscore data frame underscore df as usual which is nothing but the name of the data frame and the hue can take up the third value and we can visualize it that way you can see that kg value is presented water required is presented animal id is also there that's it we have included three parameters i mean three x y is uh, the third axis it's not a third axis so the third index is presented here with the values very clearly now it is always better to see the demo right so i'm going to show you the demo of the things that i have explained to you right now now you can see that i am drawing the normal bar chart with kg well and y y axis as water required i did not include the third one so i have imported matplotlib c bond and i have made it inline as well i have imported pandas i created a data frame with the available data.csv now c dot bar plot is what i have used c is nothing but the c bond I am going to use C bond package in this entire stuff. The X axis, Y axis is defined clearly and the data is nothing but the name of the data frame. So I'm going to run it. When I run it, I got the output. It's as simple as that. Now what is the next step to do? I told you that I'm going to include Q. Q, Q is nothing but H, H U E. It is nothing but it's going to help us out in including the third value and it's going to nicely present us for us in front of us. Now see that rest all things remain the same. I have just included hue to take up the third value and to display it as a chart. Now see that the third value is included and presented so nicely in front of you. So bar charting is done and dusted. The next is histogram. What is histogram? Histogram is nothing but a graphical display of data using bars of different heights. That's it. I am going to display the data using bars of different heights. Histogram is similar to a bar chart, but here what do we do is groups numbers into ninja, uh, into ranges. Here we group numbers into ranges, remember. And here uh, in the histogram, the total range of a data set is divided into 8, 10, 15 equal parts. And these equal parts are called as bins. Remember, this is very important. What is a bin? Bin is nothing but range. The equal parts we split, right? That is called as uh, bin. Now, we will go with the explanation for the code. I have imported all the necessary libraries. I have imported pandas. I created a data frame with the available data set. Now, plot dot hist animal frame underscore data frame. And I am going to draw this with just one value, which is nothing but kg underscore val. That's it. This line gets me the histogram plotted. It's very simple and efficient. Let's see the demo for it so that we can understand it easily. Now what do I do? I'm copy pasting the code. Now all the importing has been done. Now uh, I have imported pandas as well. Now creation of the data frame happens. Plot.hist. That's it. Plot is nothing but matplotlibs library. And I have run it right now. You got the histogram in front of you. It's an easy approach and it's a very useful approach we need to learn. Now next, what is a bin? I told you, bin is nothing but the range. Now in the previous thing, I have not specified the bin values. Here I'm going to specify the bin values as well. The bins can be 0 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, like that for age. When I'm grouping the age, when I'm presenting it for age in histogram, I can do that. Now what do I do? I just have to add one point in the plot dot hist. Name of the data frame, kg underscore val, comma bins equal to 5. Here I'm grouping it as 5. That's it. The output is arriving. 
now we will see the demo as usual without demo things won't work as i told you right in the beginning and we are going to learn that see that i have just included one line which is nothing but the bins value 20 i can change it i can keep changing the bin value just for people who are very specific about bins you can use this binning appropriately with mathematical or numerical value here i keep changing it you can see that i just tried to show you the differences in the results that we get that's it's very simple and efficient for anybody to understand and use now the next one is density plot what is density plot the density plot is an advanced histogram this is smoother histogram that we can say this method or this approach visualizes the distribution of data over continuous interval or time period that's it now we can see how exactly we can do it how exactly we can bring it import all the necessary libraries create the data frame and assign it to the name animal underscore data frame underscore df and now let's draw the density plot c is nothing but the c1 c1 is going to be used for this dot dist plot dist plot remember dist plot is the name of the method that we need to use by passing animal underscore data frame underscore df as argument where i'm going to consider only the kg underscore val you can take up different different row as well i mean different column as well for you to run it that's also fine once you do it you get the output and this is called as the density plot you should see the demo right i know that's very easy again important too same is the code i have imported everything i have just included one line in this entire stuff which talks about the density plot c dot this plot is what we need to include for us to get the density plot availability in your screen right it's very simple and efficient the next one is box plot it's a very important plotting actually a box plot is nothing but a visual representation of statistical five number summary five number summary is a very important term in stats what are the five numbers it can be minimum first quarter median third quartile maximum minimum first quartile median third quartile maximum is called as five number summary and we need to get this kind of presentation i mean this kind of bar chart approach in our output for our data and that's what i'm going to do right now for you how do you do it very simple all the importing are to be done right what we have done earlier uh, animal underscore data frame underscore df is the name of the data frame that i consistently follow i'm going to use c c uh, bond right now and c bond is already imported as c c dot box plot animal underscore data frame underscore df and kg val is what i am going to analyze now it's presented as the box plot right in front of you can you see the uh, significant uh, you can see that the approach is almost the i mean the output is almost the same as what i have presented in the previous slide this is taken from a different uh, source where they explain what are all the five stages what are all the five numbers here the same has been given as the output this helps you in analyzing it better now what is the next step we need to see the output as usual so i am going to show you the output right now for the same code uh, we need to use c uh, <coughs> c bond for this and uh, same is the procedure c dot box plot box plot has arrived that's very simple and this is very similar to what i have shown you in the first slide so i hope you understood let's get into the next one scatter plot what is it scatter plot will be very helpful for you to understand the relationship between two variables that's it we are going to understand the relationship between two variables using scatter plot and i am going to use matplot library for this so i need to import all the necessary stuff i have created the data frame now plot dot scatter this scatter is the method that i'm using x axis i can give animal data frame df dot kg dot well y axis i'm going to give animal data frame df dot animal dot in so i'm just going to have a scatter plot for these two data and that's what is presented in front of you now as a scattered plot it's very easy for you to understand and try it out in your machine if you have any problem trouble let me know i can solve it out by seeing your code now see that scatter plot is set and plot is nothing but matplotlib and x axis and y axis are defined right now clearly assigned right now clearly and once you run it that's all you get the scattered plot rightly available in front of you for the taken parameters it's easy now pair plot what is it pair plot many variables can be compared so i can i can group say about five variables and i can compare them all 
as pair plot. Now see that, how do I do it? It's very simple. Uh, I need to import all the necessary stuff. Now have a, a variable called as features. Features equal to kg val, animal id, water record. You can have as more as for, as much more as possible, but I have had three here. Now c dot pair plot. This is a c bond feature. So c bond dot pair plot animal data frame. I mean the data frame has to be passed along with features as the argument. Now you can see that kg val, animal id, water record. All these things are plotted most appropriately. Now we need to see the demo, right? This will be very interesting. I hope you love it. Now see that I am going to give the pair plot for the feature set that I have considered. The feature set includes kg val, animal id and water required. Let's run it now. The features have to be grouped properly and it is a single uh, array of items that is to be passed into the uh, pair plot argument, pair plot function. Now see that we have got it nice. So this is to compare multiple variables. That's, that's very important at times for us to do that. So this is very important for us to understand how to compare it. Now see that it's pretty easy. Right, we'll go to the next one quickly. What is that next one? We need to know if we can adjust the height. There, there should be a, a height parameter where we can adjust the uh, screen, I mean the resolution uh, in which the current uh, charts are displayed for the previous scenario. It is very small. I mean the KG well, animal ID, water required, all these things are displayed in a smaller uh, space on the screen for the previous uh, output. You can see that here. It's very small space. So no sir, I don't want that small space. I want a better space. I want it to cover the complete screen. How do I do it? Very simple. Add a parameter called as height. Height is the parameter. Height equal to 3 when you give. See what happens. I'm going to show you that right now. It's very easy. You can try it out. Height equal to 3. That's what we have done. When you run it, you get the height enhanced. You can go with better uh, visualization when you have it in a, a better screen size. I mean better resolution. Now I made it small. You can see it in a smaller size. That's it. Height is a, a parameter that I have added to make sure that the display is all clear and everybody can see it. That's it. We'll go to the next one quickly. Finally, this is called heat map. This is a very important theme in image processing. Image processing guys will be knowing it. So what is the heat map here? I'm going to display the content as a heat map. One without annotation, second with annotation. So for that, what do we do? We need to use the uh, Cborn library. I mean Cborn package. Import Cborn as C. Mathlib like as, as, as in the past we have uh, imported everything. The only thing that we need to know is we need to have the features properly here. Features, kg val, water uh, required, animal id, index, everything is there. Just pass these features as argument to the C dot heat map method. That's it. You will get the heat map. No sir, I want annotation. The values have to be properly sent in. So just make a n n o t equal to true. That's it. You get it done. We need to see the output for this and then it just the session gets over for the day. It's easy. Now first thing, I just collect the feature details, kg val, water required, animal id and index, c dot heat map. Once it is done, I got the heat map displayed in front of me right away easily. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add annotation to it, anot equal to true. Once it is done, you will get the properly annotated screen as well with the heat map. That's it in this session. The learning shall grow. I hope the session was useful. If you have any content, uh, any comments, uh, suggestions, inputs, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. If you want any content to be covered, please type it in the comment section as well. I will cover it. I will create a Git link where I am going to upload all this code so that you can copy paste and try it out in your machine. Thank you very much for supporting. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Tell your friends as well. Thank you.